Gunslinging223. And today's our first video, Gun Talk. And today we'll have the featured AR-15 pistol here. Now, first comes first when dealing with any firearm, whether it be uh, recreational or, um, or everyday CCW. Um, making sure it's safe. Today, because we're just operating as a just a video recording and things like that, we're just gonna make sure that this one is a uh, that this one is safe to operate. It is clear. I'm clearing it now. Now, some people you may see that you know when it's time to check the uh, barrel of the gun, making sure there's nothing in there. They'll go to put their face next to the barrel and whatnot, and that's not safe. So I would recommend taking any type of flashlight, putting it to the front of your barrel, looking down the ejection port, and if you see light unobstructed, then you know that it's clear. The magazine well, the same. Now the magazine well, sure it is big, but there's no over-exaggeration when it comes to firearm safety, guys. So just bear that in mind. Now, let's get off into today's video. This is my pistol. There are many like it, but this one is mine. This is my pistol, and today's video we're going to be talking about the many different types of flash hiders. The flash hider that we have here, it is a 7 inch uh, flash hider, completely detachable, screws right on and off of the barrel. Now, first we're going to talk about your average uh, flash hider. This here bird cage. These are reliable. People have been using them since ARs came about, you know, or the three prong ones. Um, these I have not had any problems with. I don't have anything bad to say about them. You know, typically when people change these, they either want to uh, get it ready for a suppressor or they just want to get a certain look. That's why I went with this one here. It looks like a suppressor. But. I don't have any problem with these. These are really well. This one here, this one is ported side to side. This works just as fine as any other uh, suppressor. And the reason why these ports are on the side here is to better, uh, uh, better help, help you better react to recoil. If these were closed up, the recoil would just thrust you back and so forth. With these ones going out, the recoil and the concussion from that uh, bullet going off, they purgate outward, making so you don't have to get thrusted back whenever you fire your uh, firearm. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this one. This one here is a seven and a half inch barrel extension. Why this one I would not use? I would not use this one anymore on this particular pistol. Now this particular pistol, I have a decent scope on there. It's a four times magnification, has uh, the iron sight and fiber optic up top, has the tri-colored uh, crosshairs. Overall, a really decent scope for not that uh, not that uh, expensive. I think it was like 100 and something bucks. Um, this does not complement this. This is not complemented to the point where I'm gonna take this off, actually. You know, I have uh, no use for it on this particular uh, pistol. The reason why is because I have, this has a seven and a half inch 223 wild barrel, and you have seven and a half inches of spiraling, of lands and grooves. So, seven and a half inch of bullet, you know, of barrel, you know, your bullet is traveling through. And then it gets the slap in the face travel of seven more inches of non-grooved and rifled uh, barrel, so to speak. So you got a smooth flow up until this point, and then the rest it's kind of tumbling its way outward. So your shots are gonna be more of a tumble than a direct hit. And any uh, novice or um, uh, even the more experienced shooters, we all know that this is not good. And it does not complement a scope because if you were using a scope, you want the shot to be a certain uh, be a certain way. You want it to be more crisp. You want it to be accurate. With a tumbling bullet, you cannot pull that off. I don't care who you are, what, how you know you move to the point where you compensate for this, that, and the other. It doesn't work. So simply 
to say the least, I would not put this on a pistol that is this short. I've had several uh, pistols. I've had uh, the highest being 10 and a half inch. You know, I've had eight and a half inch. Um, and these just, they just don't work for here. These do have a purpose. You can put these on a rifle and the outcome may be a little bit different because it has a longer travel of spiraling. So to be able to go quickly through this seven and a half, if you got six, 16 and a half inches of barrel, and then this, this will be no problem. But seven and a half inch, this is a no-go. Um, we're also gonna be talking about the Shark um, uh, Flash Hider. They're really cool. They had the uh, door breaching features or impact uh, features on there. Those work very well, but it's just not, uh, it's not practical for something this short because this one is just side by side porting. The Shark, it's top, and both sides so you got all of this uh, portation going on here and on the side and on the top and whatnot you know with a seven and a half inch barrel so your face is essentially right here when that blast is going off you know say right here so each time it goes off the scope will be deemed useless because the flash you know you wouldn't be able to see your target because you got flash going every which way so on a Rifle, yes, all of these would be fine. The shark, this one here, your bird cage, this mock suppressor type of deal. These would all be fine on a 16 and a half inch plus barrel. On the pistol, that's gonna be a no-go for me. Now, if you all will notice, and I'll have some pictures uh, you know, coming up in just a second here, the bullet was tumbling. That's no good. So like I say, if you're going to put a scope and things like that on your pistol, and I know I'm not the only one out there, stay away from these. You know, they have a purpose in the uh, shooting field, just not with this particular setup. So, with that being said, be mindful of what you put on your uh, pistols or rifles. Some things may just look cool, but they may overall uh, hurt you if you have tried to go for tactical advantage and so forth. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna let you all enjoy the rest of your time and enjoy surfing the web here and check out some more of my videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, this is the one half of Gunslinging 223 signing off. You all be safe.